Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Kiran Nirola from Neurosurgical OPD of ADK Hospital Maldives. Today we'll be discussing about how we have been conducting online neuroconsultation during the time of COVID pandemic and social distancing. Initially, registration of the patient is completed by front office staff that are trained not only to obtain history and any past records or test results, but also inform about how the online consultation will proceed. This includes sending them our pictorial sheet, which patient can refer to when asked to perform an examination. Basic requirements for the neuro consultation in our setup include high speed internet connection to the desktop, a high resolution webcam, handset, and patient details to be displayed on the screen along with their phone numbers with installed Viber application. We also require the patient to have Viber installed, usually on their smartphones and a helper's presence is usually requested in order to assist with examinations. From the list today, we have a patient, Mr. S, who registered with a history of difficulty in balancing his body and vomiting in mornings. At first, I will always confirm his symptoms and ask any relevant follow-up questions, but on the basis of his history, we will need to do a cerebral examination as well. So let's start our consultation. Hello, I'm Dr. Kiran Nirula from Neurosurgery OPT of ADK Hospital. I'm here to conduct an online neuro consultation. Can I confirm you that you are Mr. S? Yes, that's me. Okay, good. I would like to confirm that you have a helper with you nearby and that you received some pictorials from our front office staff to assist you with any examination we may need to perform today. Yes, I, I do have a helper with me and I have the pictorials ready. Great. So could you please elaborate your chief complaints to me that made you require the consultation through this online portal today? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm having this uh, a dull, dull headache. I've, I've been having it for maybe two months now, the last two months. Uh, usually in the mornings and it it goes away when I take some pills but it keeps coming back so is it associated with any vomiting actually yes um, I, I do feel nauseous uh, uh, sometimes and I do uh, you know vomit as well okay how long have you felt this way and does doing something specific trigger it I think maybe for the last uh, 10 days or so I've I felt nauseous and it's usually in the morning when I uh, when I brush my teeth do you have any difficulty with your vision not really I haven't noticed um, I mean I, I've I've been wearing glasses uh, since I was small but for the for the last three years I, I haven't had to change them okay do you have any weakness or numbness of any part of the body including foot hands no Okay. Did you notice any changes in your personality or any changes in your daily bowel and bladder habits? No, I wouldn't say so. Mm. Any seizures, hearing problem, weight loss, excessive heat or cold intolerance, changes in appetite, any swelling or patches in the body? No, I, I, I haven't had any of those. Okay. So any difficulty in walking despite having strength in the foot or leg? Actually, yes. Uh, sometimes when I walk, I have to really be conscious about my, uh, my walking because sometimes I sway to a side and, then, and I get uh, uh, disbalanced. Okay, I see. So have you recently developed any tremors? So Mr. S. Looking at your history, we want to do a neurological examination related to the cerebellum. That is the posterior part of the brain or the small brain that is responsible for balancing the body. Let's start. Are you ready? Yes. That's great. Okay. So could you please, uh, please put your left hand face up and do alternating tapping moments from right hand over the left with both palm backside as far as possible. You may refer to figure 2E if you want. That's good. Can you do with the other hand? So this is a simple test for this diadokinesia, which means difficulty performing quick and alternating movements. As you can see, 
The pictorials go a long way in assisting patients to know exactly how to position themselves and a bit more confident in performing the examination when they see it being done. Okay, with the other finger. Okay, that's good. Some findings are there anyhow. We'll discuss at the end. In this test, it is important that the doctor can clearly see the patient's outstretched hand and finger to look for intentional tremors and dysmetria. Okay, can you have a look at picture or figure 2A? Okay, the other eye. Now both eye open. And do it again. Follow the fingers. While the patient and helper are doing their actions, I am paying attention to the patient's eye and seeing if there is any nystagmus present. So, since you also mentioned there is some difficulty with your balance, can I ask mm -hmm. you to walk in a straight line, touching the heels of one of the foot to the toes of the other? Figure 2B is good visual representation of how it is done. You can refer to that. This patient shows an abnormal response to this GET test, confirming that the patient said regarding his difficulties balancing while walking. Now, can you join your feet, keep your hands and arms straight, close your eyes. If you get disbalanced, you can open your eyes and take a help of your friend to balance or catch you. Okay, I can do that. Oh, like this? Yeah, then close your eyes. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, you can open your eyes. You can open your eyes. You can open your eyes. We don't want you I to think fall. I'm, uh, swaying a little bit to the to the right side. Yeah, I could see that. Can you come back, please? Mm -hmm. Now, can you sit on your bed or floor and slide your heel? from one knee down to your ankle of the other leg. You can refer to figure 2D as seen by our front office in the form of pictorial. Okay, we'll do. That's good. The left one you could do properly. Okay, the right is somewhat not okay. Okay. So, thank you Mr. S for your cooperation. Okay, now see, some of your cerebellar signs are positive, okay? So I believe it is wise to do an MRI scan of your brain. I'll have the front of his staff contact with you to arrange everything, like they will send the prescription that I'll be preparing shortly after I finish conversation with you. I'll send you MRI requisition forms. After that, you can do MRI and upload, upload the MRI videos along with the MRI reports the way we have given you instruction via front office during your first registration, okay? Okay, I understand. Thank you for your time, Dr. Karen. Uh, uh, take care, okay? See you.